damn, I was wrong. I'm out here working on myself, and all you are is a song. But really, girl, I wish you the best. I hope you find what I was never meant to be in the next. What's happening, guys? I'm your host, Jen Tapier, and we are live. What's up, everybody? We got a viner in the building, a actor, a writer, a comedian with over 273 million loops on Vine and wow. 434,000 followers on Vine alone. We got Jay Cyrus joining me. Hello. You look good? Thank you. As Looking always, fresh. you look great as well. You look awesome. Thank you. I'm trying to keep up with you. Like I said, I, I can't show up looking anything less than wonderful. <laughs> with the wonderful Jen here. So. You're the best. So I absolutely love everything that you do. Um, well, I appreciate that. making music. We want to get into the mind of a serial viner. <laughs> That's, it makes me sound creepy and morbid. But okay, we'll do that. Fine. Uh, if you mean I vine about cereal, sometimes, yes, I will. You do. I've seen that. Cereal, yeah. What was like the favorite vine that you've like, ever done? Because you have a lot. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily have a favorite. Um, I, I, my favorite series is probably Rapping Like a Five-Year-Old, the, uh, oh, so the series. Cute. Yeah. Just because it's so fun. It's so quick and it's whatever. And, you know, like BuzzFeed article about it and everything. And it was just like a really cool thing that happened. So it kind of graduated me from one level of vining to another, which was really awesome. So, so what made you get into vining? Like one day you were like, all right, I'm going to get onto vine. Was somebody that, was it somebody that you knew that told you to get into it? No, I, you know, I'm, I'm, uh. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to apps. Like, I'll get on the app store and see, like, what's trending and what's mm -hmm. hot. And I was like, one day I got on there and they're like, you know, it, it said, it gave a description of this thing where you could showcase, you know, whatever for six seconds at a time. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, this will be a fun way to, to kind of be stupid and, and make inside jokes with my friends. And, and then it, I found out that it wasn't just your friends that were following you. It was, like, people from all over. And then it just grew. It just started, you know, it started gaining traction on different skits and things that I did and then mm -hmm. before I knew it I was a quote unquote viral viner so wow congratulations yeah. thank you speaking of I think we should take out our phones and tweet this out we're gonna tweet out the link real oh quick. for sure definitely yes you guys um, can follow us at Booth TV right now we're gonna get on the there Twitter. we're also on Periscope we're also on Snapchat all right so I'm going to retweet this I'm here with Jay Cyrus uh oh Calm her down. Um, Somebody oh calm her God. down. You know what I love about your vines? Okay, there's everything. Like, everything. <laughs> I absolutely love everything you have. I'm sure. I'm sure. But you know, you really do poke fun at the hip hop world. But you also <laughs> are. You're also a rapper. So yeah. it's so funny because, like, I, I try to take you seriously, but you really are a serious hip hop artist, and you really like you're killing it in the music game. Well, I, I'm trying to actually you know, kind of break apart and segment myself to where I can really give myself fully and completely to each avenue that I'm on. So yeah. right now, like music is just, I'm in such limbo with, you know, legal, legal things and everything else that I'm just trying to finalize <laughs> that and make it happen so I can, I can come out with another song or an album and, you know, so we're, we're working on it. But, yes. But thank you. That, that means a lot. Yeah, we have this record here today. It's Sank Ships. Sank Ships. Um, but Sinking Ships, like the sinking Titanic. Sinking Ships, like the Titanic. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that might be another song. Sank Ship is a really hot record. I like that record. I've been feeling it. I've been listening to it a lot. Oh, well, that's good. Tell us about making, you know, that record. What was the kind of the story behind it? Um, you know, I knew that I, I, I as I said before, the five-year-old rap series that I did on Vine, it was just like a high demand. People were like, you yeah. got to make a single of some... I got with my buddy Alec and I was like, hey, let's, let's make a track. And we made like a couple of really heavy like club bangers, as I guess you would call them. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I was just like, you know what, if I do this, I feel like I'm going to be thrown in a corner where I have to make something this epic every time. So I wanted to start off with something a little bit more serious and a little bit more near and dear to the heart that was also kind of relatable. Right. So, of course, you know, like anything, I, I just did a breakup song. And um, Sank Ship you was. Okay? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. You, you, if you listen to the song thoroughly, you'll know that I'm good now. But uh, you know, it was just like, you know, I, I had to do it because people wanted it. So we yes. came up with a production, and it just poured out of me, and we uh, we put it on wax and sent it through. I was listening. I was like, uh, Drake, watch out. Like, <laughs> no way. No, no way. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Drake, Drake's the master. He He's, is the master. Would you love okay. to collaborate with Drake? Of course. Totally. Definitely. Definitely. I want to make I want to make comedy vines with Drake. I think he's a funny Ooh, guy. I think people so don't know funny. that. People, I think he's a really funny dude. But uh, but yeah, no, I'd love to do a song with him. 
I would just be sitting there, you know, waiting for him to finish so I can be like, all right, what am I going to do? <laughs> exactly. All right, let's tweet right now. We are, all right, ready? Here we go. We're getting on there. On I'm to trying the Twitter. to get into the mind of a serial viner. Into the mind. Here we go. It's, it's, it doesn't take much. It's six seconds at a time, Jen. So. I mean, those six seconds really count. They're crucial. They are. Six seconds. I mean, those six seconds are very important. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's all what you put into it, really. All right, I'm going to try to vine right now. Let's, here we go. Let's. Oh, you're going to vine right now. Put me on the Let's spot. Let's see. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh -uh. I'm just going to try to be as relatable as possible on this vine. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it on the video there. Okay. <sighs> Jay Cyrus is here, and he brought his hat with him. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I brought my hat and my my velvet guest jacket, and um, these are the only things that I own that are worth more than ten dollars. So nice. I wear them everywhere. This was six dollars. So there you together, go. Together we're swagging on a Dress budget. Dress to impress. <laughs> shop on a budget. No, it's, I'm I'm all about that life. For we're sure. all about swagging on a budget. J. Cyrus, they tap swagging is that, on a budget. Is that still a word, swagging? Is that people still use that? Yeah. I don't use that word. You don't? No. Swag. I feel like in order to use the word swag, you have to, uh, you know, wake up early for, for like finals or something. You know? Right, 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 Again, right. I'm so past that. So. But all your fans are. You have a lot of young fans. I do. You do. Well, I mean, my demographic is young for sure. Yeah. Uh, but but I also. Ten to ten to. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't say it starts at 10. I started, Maybe it starts at 16. 16? And then goes up to like maybe 35, 40. Who's like the oldest person that has ever tuned into your mind? Oh, man. Is there any like 80-year-olds? Probably, probably my dad would be the oldest. Nice. I don't know how old he is. He's ancient, though. <laughs> but, you know, he doesn't listen to anything, so we're good. Does he watch you on uh, live? Um, only when it's something that he can't help but see. Like, you nice. know, it, it comes up in his feed, like it's shared or something like that. And then he'll just call me with a lecture on why I shouldn't depict myself like that. But, I love you know. it. You know, there's a lot of people that are trying to get into the Vine world, you know, and some people are successful on it, some people are not. What do you think is, like, the formula necessarily uh, to, you know, getting, you know, traction on You know, Vine? it it's, it's, comes in waves. It used mm -hmm. to be, like, re relatability. Right, dancing. And dancing and uh, lip syncing and, right. you know, just, Fist like, pumping. goofy stuff. Right. Now it's just kind of, like, carefree. Whatever. Like, if you just do a vine of just you in the moment, just yeah. acting like an idiot with your friends, it usually goes viral. But, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I mean, there's a lot of formulas. People rap on it. People sing on it. People dance on it. You know, people do comedy on it. Some people, like, overproduce actual six-second sketches that right. I could never do. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but, I mean, that's what their niche is, so to mm -hmm. speak. So. so, I mean, there's just so many different ways you could approach it. Uh, so many different ways to succeed and definitely many ways to fail. So you just got to do it the right way. Yeah, since you're like a professional viner, do you go on there for entertainment purposes? Like, is it because that's <laughs> like your job? Uh, is it yeah. boring to you? No, it's not boring. It's, uh, you know, I, I guess it's uh, humbling to be called a professional viner. You are. But you're a serial viner. <laughs> no, I like, to, I like to, you know, stay in touch with reality. I mean, it is an app on a phone. So. Right. <laughs> gotta be real. You gotta be real. I like to think of myself as just a professional in general. Nice. Do you but follow other people on Vine? I do. I follow a lot of people on Vine. Uh, there's there's some cats that are just doing crazy things. There's Gabriel there's Gundacker, Logie okay. Dogi, um, Dan Curtin. These are some of my favorites. They just have this attitude, Nicoletti, that they, they just don't like care. So it's just like funny because without any effort at all, they're just absolutely hilarious. Uh, Gabriel Gundacker is just like multi talented. He can sing, he's got you know, great comedy skills, he's in, he's, you know, his comedic timing is on point. He's just a great guy, so watching him is just like, there, you, there's never a dull moment. He's just great. Same so. thing with you, Jay Cyrus. Well, thank you. I appreciate yes. that. I well, appreciate I'm excited that. to hear your record, and I want everybody out there to tune in right now. Jay Cyrus is about to show us what, he, what he's got uh -oh. on the mic. Uh -oh. Play your oh, you're about to play the record. Okay. Yeah. Good, you had me scared for a second. Don't worry, buddy. I thought I was going to have a niggy moment where I was just... <laughs> Clustered up and, and dropped some, some okay rhymes, I guess. But yeah, let's play the record. Let's, let's do get it. To it. Ready, Tyler? Let's do it. Sing ship. Here we go. Girl, I remember back when I would text with no reply. Said that you were busy, but I knew that was a lie. Pretended that you missed me and you want me by your side. But you forgot to mention that you met another guy. So here I sit alone. Living through these pictures on my phone Down in half a fifth of whiskey just to get me in the zone Got me kicking it with women that I never met before Trying to get these images of him and you to go Yeah, 
And now I'm losing focus on my health All because your love was bogus and you focused on yourself All right guys, welcome back. That was a record called Saying Shit by Jay Cyrus Music. He's in the house with me right now. Same. He is a Viner, professional uh, Viner celebrity. That's what they call Cook. him now. Cook. Um, romantic, uh, romantic advice counselor. Yes. Um, Foodie. Uh, professional chia pet yes. groomer. Yes. Yeah, I do all that. So. Yes, you, you also collect, um, what do you collect? I collect artichokes. Oh, you do? Artichoke memorabilia. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? My mom actually does do that. <laughs> That's how that came to my head. I don't want you to think that I was just thinking about artichokes. My mom actually does collect them. Why? Something between her and my stepdad. I don't know. I don't dive into detail. Tell me more. I wish I could. But then again, maybe I don't wish I could because I don't she know what it is. She collects artichokes? Yes. Jen, she collects artichokes. Oh, okay. This is, this, is, you're, this is starting off so bad. When you meet my mother, you're gonna, she's going to yeah, be like, why do you care? Yeah, she's not going to like me. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about, you know, when you meet the mom. Exactly. I thought this was starting off so good, and now you're, you're dissing my mom's artichoke collection. <laughs> it's terrible. It's awful. <laughs> but yeah, she does collect artichokes. That's the, like, really random. It is random, but, you know, to each his own. And what does she do with them? Uh, they just stay in the windowsill at their house. They're just for good like, luck, or? I don't know. They've kept the house, so maybe. Nice. That's nice. Good. Maybe That's, you should start yeah. doing that, collecting artichokes. Yeah, and maybe not artichokes, but, you know. I'll probably, once, once I get to around to it, I'll probably collect, like, pogs. Remember pogs? Yes. Oh, my God. Back and in the slammers day. Slammers. Yes. And, yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon. I didn't really get into furbies. Pokemon. Furbies, I didn't get into either. I thought they were very demonic. I thought they were very possessed. They were horrible. Terrible. They scared me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back in the day, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Yes. Yeah, I hung out with the blue Power Ranger last night. Oh, wait, what? I just have to mention that because he yeah, was there. All right, who, who? I don't remember his name. He's part of the new Samurai Power Rangers. So you were hanging out with the blue... The blue Power, Power Ranger. Ranger. I wish I remember his name. He's a really nice guy. Really good at parkour and stuff, from what I hear. All right, so future Viners out there, you want to be a, a Viner Yeah, like, like if you want to be, yeah, if you want to get to my level and hang out with Power Rangers, the blue Power Rangers specifically, the hardest Power Ranger to hang out with. He's bad at it. He's, he is. So if you want to get to that level. David Yost is his name? Maybe. Maybe it was David. Yeah, I think it was David. David. Oh, shout out to David. Yeah, maybe. Uh, if it wasn't, shout out to David night? anyway. Where'd you go last night? Uh, the Art of Patron event. Ooh. Yeah. So just a lot of Patron. Nice. In every Patron flavor there was, in barrels that you could dispense like... Uh, really? Yeah. It was... Ooh. Yeah, it sounds great, but it feels awful. Feels so, bad? Yeah, don't do that. So don't. How, many, how many drinks did you have? Um, were you sinking ships? I was sinking <laughs> ships last night, for sure. You know, I had like two of these uh, white Russians with the Patron like coffee liqueur. Uh -huh. And they were so good that I had seven more. So you had a total of nine drinks? Something like that, ballpark. <laughs> nine, ten. Yeah, let's, let's not talk too much into it. My mom might listen to this <laughs> and, you know, try to send me money for rehab or something. So I don't so want to go that route. like nine cups of water. Roughly nine, you know, a couple of shots, a couple of chocolate truffle balls with wow. Patron in them, which were great. I like Patron. They, it's great. Yeah. I, I'm not a tequila person, but Patron is where it's at. Yeah. Shout out to Patron. Shout out to Patron. Yeah, last night I was at an event for uh, Flex. It was a dance party event. All were you two dancing? Were dancing, yes. I was dancing on the red carpet. Getting down, nice. But I'm from Jersey, so we don't really dance. We kind of just fist, fist pump. pump. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. Jersey, yeah. Fist pump. Yeah. Oh my God, we're getting texts right now. We're getting oh, the people tweeting us. Phone lines are blowing up. Yeah, we actually are on Periscope right now. Oh, are we? You're on, you're on Periscope. Hi, right? Periscope. <laughs> we have fans that are actually here right now that want to talk to you. Are and they? What are they? Anybody saying anything cool? Said, hi, I love hi. you, Cyrus. I love you too. <laughs> what would you like to say to your fans? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna periscope you too while we're at it. Uh, don't ever stop following me. Yes. Um, Let's find them. I love you all very much, and um, for the ones, the, the accounts that I didn't create myself to make it look like I had followers. So the eggs. The eggs, yeah. So that's right. that's not true. I didn't do that. All right, I'm gonna vine it don't up right now. Me. You're vining me? Yeah. I'm or vining. periscoping me? I can't keep up with all this. Vining and periscoping. I'm gonna Instagram periscope vine you, and then. <laughs> Put you on my Facebook. <laughs> uh, what about MySpace? You, you got MySpace? I love MySpace. That's Do how you? I, that's how we met, remember? Yeah, that's right. That is true. I did follow your MySpace account. You used to have an account on MySpace where you just did really bad eyeliner and people followed you because of your makeup tutorials. Wow, you did know me in New Jersey. I did. I used to wear blue eyeliner. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish that I wasn't kidding. I used to wear blue <laughs> eyeliner and I was like orange. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you were like a snook. I was the original snook day. Wow. Yeah. You were the original meatball. The original meatball. Oh my God. Oh man. The so did you know, did you know Jay Wow in, in the, in the crew or what? No, I knew the situation. You did? Yes. And well, that was what a more do you situation. need to know? What more do you need to know? Besides, I knew the si What's his name? Mike Sig Sag Sig something? Mike, Miano? um, the situation. Mike, the situation, situation. Mr. I situation. Knew, I knew his si situation. His, his situation. Nice. They were pretty well off before the show, from what I hear. Yeah, they were really cool. Well, that's good. Yeah, if you were on the Dirty Show, what would your uh, name be? Um, probably, uh, you know what? I don't know what my, my Jersey Shore name, probably oh like J not so wow or like J ah, uh, you J know what? Uh. Like, uh. <laughs> or like DJ um, depressed J. Oh, what's that? Well, I, I'm not depressed, but like, oh. you know, I feel like the situation is like such a big thing and me, right. it's just like, oh, this guy. How about like we have the problem? Oh, you know what? I'd be called the mediocre. That's the what mediocre. I'd be called. You're in. That would be my Jersey name. <laughs> Here comes the mediocre. <laughs> DJ mediocre. I love it. Yeah. All right, we're going to play a game. It's called Nope or Dope. Nope or Dope. All right, let's yeah. go. All right, so Instagram filters on a, on a hot girl. Nope or Dope? Um, but is it like just enough? Some of them need them, so Dope. Dope, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Why not? I, I know I need them sometimes, so I'm not going to knock their hustle. <laughs> have you seen the new Taylor Swift and Kendrick Lamar? Um, I Instagram? have. Dope or Dope? Super Dope. Super Dope. So Dope. So Dope. Soap. We love it. <laughs> I so, love it. So dope. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. On uh, to the a, next. A crazy fan? Dope. Dope or nope? Dope. dope. I met some crazy fans in the airport, and it was crazy, but dope, for sure. An ex calling you up after seeing you on Vine? Dope or nope? Nope. Definitely nope. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Don't call me again. Order tune on a record? Dope or nope? What's that? Order tune on a record? Dope or nope? Ah, oh, dope. Have you heard 808s and Heartbreak by Kanye West? Yeah. Revolutionized. He is the, he is the king of... Um, he is the king of making auto-tune sound great. Well, you know what? No. T-Pain's the auto-tune king. Come on. He's the one that brought it to the surface and said, hey, it's like an instrument. If you play it right, people are going to love it. Right. And then, of course, some people ruined it. Okay. Uh, but Kanye definitely perfected it himself, too. So. Yeah. He's been uh, performing a lot. He was at the Billboard Awards, Wango Tango, and he's been doing a lot of the smoky I saw him at Wango Tango. Dope or nope? Dope. Dope. So dope. Always dope. You were at Wango Tango, of course. I was. Justin Bieber's performance, dope or nope? Dope. Who was a nope for you? Um. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh. Neo. Oh, he's a dope. He was a nope for me. He's a nope. I thought he was still great. I mean, he's Neil. He's always going to be great. But, you know, he's just, he works with people that I just wish would never touch a mic. And I won't say their name out loud, but, you know. Keeping it real. Dolly. Uh, Sia showing not her face. Dope or nope? Uh, huh. Dope. I think that's her process, you know? Right. I could see her eyes. She doesn't know that, but I could see him through those how little can, holes. How can you see him? I saw him. They were zoomed in on the screen. I saw him. I know what she looks like. I mean, how does Sia do it? I mean, she has the wig and then she has the hat. You know, um... How does she see? I don't... I, she's got those holes in her hat. Mm. That kind of work as eye holes. But, I mean, look at it. I mean, we questioned Lady Gaga's process. Right. And look how great she is. Right. So I think Sia's, Sia's just doing her thing, and she's wonderful. I love her. I was riding my bike the other day, and Elastic Heart came on, and I was just like... I must have, like, increased my miles per hour by at least... Like, I was just like, I love this so much. Such a great song. The Britney Spears Iggy Azalea song, Dope or Nope? Ah, I gotta say Dope. I'm sorry, there's just so much energy in that song. Do you like it? There is. Pretty I cool. don't like it. I just love, mm -hmm. I, I, whenever I watched the video, I was just like, you know, visually, these girls are both doing it. And Britney's still doing it. She's still doing it. I remember Her body is killing it in the video. So much. Her body's dope. Her body's went through some changes. Yeah where it wasn't necessarily killing it. Right. And now it's killing it. It's so killing it. And Iggy, you know, she's, you can say what you want about her. She's a performer. She knows what she's doing. Right, she's killing it. She's killing it too, for sure. So who would you like to wife up, Britney or Iggy? Oh, Britney. Because that would be like full circle. She was like my crush when I was in high school. Okay. And then like if I married her, I'd be like, yeah, I married my high school crush, celebrity high school crush. Who's the hottest woman in Hollywood? 
Oh, man. In Hollywood? So many things come to mind. Um, I don't know. Charlize Theron? Just okay. because I just saw Mad Max and she was incredible in it. Okay. Um, uh, Emily Blunt? She's pretty hot. She's pretty gorgeous. Um, Kira Knightley will always be pretty flawless to me. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, yeah. Holly Berry? Come on. There's a bunch. There's too many to name. Who is your man crush? My man crush? <laughs> um, Who's the hottest huh. guy in Hollywood to you? Like, uh, like a good actor? Like, you're like, I want to be that guy. So my cool. man crush right now? Probably Chris Pratt. Oh, really? Yeah. Hashtag MCM? MCM, for sure. The guy's hilarious. He uh, went through his little transformation, so he's got a nice little body on him now. <laughs> I don't want to get into detail, but, you know, Chris Pratt for sure. He's great. <laughs> You're also doing some acting. I do, I yeah, do. You're doing some, some major stuff right now. I just uh, finished a feature film called The Collecting. It's, uh, thank you, shot in all black and white, so I don't have to worry about the blemishes, nice. which is a great thing. Very nice. Uh, it's got a very Nebraska feel to it. That movie okay. was great. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm awaiting the release. A couple of things have to be signed, and then we can get it out there, and finally people can see it. But wow, and who do you play? I play a pastor's son who grew up uh, kind of, you know, in the church lifestyle and wanted to rebel against it and started kind of stealing from the collection plate. And then those primes started to elevate as I got older. And then I, you know, I kind of had to answer to the Don at the end. So, you know, it gets, it gets pretty wild. It gets pretty crazy. Wow. But you're also really funny. So I can see uh, yeah, like my mom a lot thinks of, so. A lot of like lead leading films as like the leading funny man. I would love to do that actually. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I would love to do that. I haven't been presented. I've just got presented with a script um, by a friend of mine, Brendan, to be the lead role in a, in a kind of like a dark comedy that he's doing. Mm-hmm. So I'm reading through that now, and uh, hopefully we'll have something to put put together here soon. So. So you vining today? What are you doing? Am I vining today? Yeah. What um, are you gonna do? What are you gonna vine about? No, I was gonna take the day off. You know. No. <laughs> I make it, could you take a day off? I, mean, I, I, I make it uh, I make it so sound like it's such a hard thing to do. But no, I don't vine. Like, I don't plan my vines. You know, it's just like I do them. Uh-huh. And then they just kind of come to be, you know. It's okay. Like, Cause I'm just a real wacky guy. So if I have a wacky thought, I'll turn it into a wacky vine. Okay, because a lot of people plan it. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> six second short film. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't do that. There's just too much to do. So is that the secret to... Um, is that the secret to a successful vine? Uh, yeah. It's from me, anyway. It's just not thinking. Okay, a fan wants you to reenact the Thomas Edison vine. <laughs> oh, man. I yes. did a vine um, for a company called Astronauts Wanted. They're great. They're wonderful. And there is a guy on Vine, uh, Victor Pope Jr., who's super funny. And he created a series called If Historical Figures Had Snapchat. <laughs> So I picked Thomas Edison, and uh, basically he was just, uh, I don't know, is this light turn off and on? Uh, well, I, I, you need like a light, like a light bulb. Do you have a light? Yeah. But, <laughs> no, just, I mean, just to kind of summarize it. Light. Summarize it, he was just like on Snapchat, and he was like, yo, Ben Franklin, your Snapchat inspired me to do something cool, and then the light goes on, because Thomas <laughs> Edison created the light bulb, but he was like, bam! And it was just like, you know, I mean, I just feel like, I feel like Thomas Edison would have done, I mean, if, y'all, if they had social media, think about how crazy that would be. Like, all the things that they were inventing and, like, Ben was like, yo, I found this key, got a kite, finna do something crazy, like, on Snapchat, you know? Like, what else? But, you know. I'm going to go on your Vine right now. Let's see what you posted. Later. Oh, goodness. Here we'll we go. see. Let's open it up. Your latest Vine. My latest Vine is a blooper. I lose it, and my friend starts laughing, so it's not that funny. It's just, like, to gain tra- traction or traffic to my... Uh, Snapchat, so. Here we go, let's see what we got. You can't go by my latest one. My latest one's just like an advertisement for my Snapchat. Oh my you gotta God, do that go. sometimes. Oh my God, 1,210 posts, 18,000 likes, holy. Oh, here we go, manager. Oh, <laughs> well this one might actually have uh, bad words in it, so. Yikes, David, please go gargle pine saw, cause. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, oh, dude. Freestyle battles, hey, you up next. Hey, let's talk about how <laughs> That's my friend Matt, and he's extremely white, so I thought it'd be funny to make him freestyle. See? 
There you go. That's that's the summary of it. But Oh, I love your I love your rap lines. Oh, that's Come a on, that's one, a five year old. I do the five year old rap. Please. I can't. I don't even know where to begin on five year old rapping. Please, I'll do it with you. There's so many of them. Can I do it? Do you have a favorite five year old rap that you memorize? Probably not. <laughs> See, I'm putting you on the spot now. Um, do you guys have a favorite five-year-old rap that you should do? Does Periscope mm-hmm. have a favorite five-year-old rap? I'll try to remember it. Let's see, let's see. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. You know, you inspired me so much on Vine. I decided to make a Vine the other day of me uh, twerking with my friend. Oh, twerking. At least it's working. I was twerking like, oh. an idol. Well, you know, twerking can actually get you very far on Vine. It does, right? Well, for some people, yeah. Jessica, Vanessa... Well, she's funny, too, but she's got uh, a lot of uh, twerking vines that have catapulted her to a very strong following. She's beautiful, too. I mean, she's got all the right ingredients, but her twerking vines do extremely well. So do you have to follow, like, other successful viners and have them follow you back? I mean, how how does this work? Well, that usually comes pretty organically. I mean, if they like your stuff, they'll follow you. Um, I have had viners, though, that didn't follow me until, like, I met them in L.A., and... I was just like, oh, like I'll be talking to him like, oh, thanks, because it'll show up on my phone. Mm-hmm. So and so just followed you. Any celebrities? Uh, yeah, my good friend Megan Trainer is a follower of mine. What? Megan Trainer follows you on yeah. Vine. Megan wow. Trainer, uh, Blake Griffin's a friend of mine too. Really? He follows me on Vine. Yeah, Blake I've actually Griffin made. And Megan Trainer following. I've actually made vines with both of them. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I've actually got one in the. Uh, in the work. In the works right now. Oh, it's not in the works. It was like when we were out. It was just kind of funny. Who is it? It's me and Megan and uh, my friend Chris. Wow. So, yeah. I'll have to show that to you later. It's pretty funny. So, it's all about that bass. All about that bass. She's wonderful. She's great. You date her? <laughs> I would. I would definitely date her, for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, you would. For sure, I would. <laughs> He's sweating now. <laughs> I am. I'm, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> I'm wearing a velvet jacket. I am wearing a velvet jacket under some pretty hot lights, so it's whatever. I'm sweating. I'm just using this as like today's sauna. I'm sweating out all the toxins from last night. It's so. like a sauna. Exactly. It's like a little sauna. So wow, you actually had a vine with Blake Griffin. So I did. I had born. two. I had two vines with Blake Griffin. Wow. One where I was his therapist, and I asked him what it was like to be compared to Jay Cyrus every day, and he was just like, "Who?" So it was kind of funny. Uh, and then another one where I did, I did this other thing called Random Rapper Shot. You know, like rappers nowadays, like the underground ones have just like crazy rap names like that just don't make any sense. Like, like what? Like, yo, uh, shout out to my boy Lil Foot. Uh, you know, DJ Dirty Diaper. You know, like just, they just say stuff and you're just like, no, that shouldn't be your name. So Blake and I did one of those. So oh my funny. God. Last night at the event, I was cracking up. One guy got on the mic. I think he gave a shout out to all his ex. Shout out to my baby mama's ex girlfriend's wife, and they're like, shout out. Like, like, you know, you know it's about Why? to be a great performance. Why? Yeah, yo, you, you just shouted out all your exes and your baby your mamas, baby mama, your future ex-wife. Your homie in the corner. Shout out to the VIP. Shout out to the promoter for literally 20 minutes. I'm like, yo, shout out to the song you're about to perform now. And you see these people in the audience. Like his ex is probably like real salty. Then he said that, and she was like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You better shout me out. Yeah, you better be shouting me we out. We have history. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, shout outs are funny. That's a funny thing. It could, it could definitely be terrible. It could be great, too. But You're funny. <laughs> I can't believe you have uh, Megan Trainer following you on Vine. That's so cool. She's How a buddy of mine. We actually just, uh, right before our Billboards Awards, we went and partied together at, at the Light in Vegas. It was, like, awesome. Wow. She's just super cool. She's so great. She's so wonderful. But. So you party with Megan Trainer the night before the bill? <laughs> yeah. You know, she didn't drink. She's yeah. got to rest her voice up. Yeah, she has, she has stuff to do. But I was like, oh, open bar? You're in. I'll handle this, Meg. This Patron event? You take yeah. a seat. Meg, I got this. I got it. I got this. Don't worry about it. I'll drink for the both of us. <laughs> you know. She's great, though. She's wonderful. Her friends are amazing. Her dancers are great. Her brothers are incredible. Like, just, just fun people to be around. Yeah, so, so you were at the Billboard Awards? No, I didn't get to go. I wish I did. I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited. I wasn't. I was invited, but last minute it was like, oh, I can't. And I was mm-hmm. like, ah, oh. I didn't have anything to wear. And, you you could have wore that. I could have, but there were like no T-shirts. Oh. So. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year, me and you will be hosting on the red carpet together. You know, and Megan Trainer. It's nothing but a dream, Jen. Definitely. All you gotta do is grab it. Yeah. So what's happen. next for you? Um, more music. Mm-hmm. A couple of music videos. Ooh, uh, leading lady. 
<laughs> yes, I do. You're, you're, I've already casted you, so. Done. So block off the whole month of June. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> more vines, of course. Yes. Um, maybe some voice acting coming up. Ooh. Can't give away too much, but mm -hmm. I might be the voice character on some cartoons coming up, so. Ooh. So, yeah. So listen fish for that. <laughs> no, not fish fix. But, uh, you know, I can't say too much, but, but definitely look Is out for close? it. You're close. It's probably fish hooks. No, it's not fish hooks. Yeah, because they got a lot of celebrities on fish hooks. Uh, yeah. Kyle Massey's on there. Yeah, no, I haven't even talked to them, really. Oh, okay. Um, I, I talked to a girl who was kind of working with them, but... So what kind of voice are you doing? Um, mm -hmm. I'm actually playing an old lady. That's so. why you did that voice. <laughs> I am. I'm playing an old lady who's very in tune with, with pop culture. She knows everything there is to know about pop culture. Oh, but, wow. But, uh, you know, her grandchildren hate that. They can't stand that she's so into it. Because she uses it, you know, in like a very, very tacky way. Okay. You know, she's just trying to be hip. So you're kind of like the Simpsons, the opposite. Kind of. The female did the voice of Bart Simpson. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I didn't even know I could do an old woman's voice until they were like, hey, we want you to try this out. I like to hear this old lady. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it here. I can't do it here. It's guy. It's like I have to like transform my face, and <laughs> it's just ugly. I can't do talking it. Voices. I can't. You you're doing a pretty good job of it. We're talking just a, in voices. Just a little bit more southern than, than that. Wait, come on. <laughs> come on. I want to hear the old lady. Come on. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, see, I have to say one of my lines, and then that'll give it All away. Right, let, let's read this in an old lady's voice. All right. Um. <laughs> Where can listeners find you on the web? How's that? Is good enough? No, this one. Oh. Also, check out our full video interview on our app, Songstagram. Is that better? Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like an old man now that I think about it, but I think of a little bit more high-pitched. Wait, let's read the rest. That's really good. I'm done. <laughs> no, read the rest. Jen, get out of here. No, You're not getting anymore. You're not getting anymore. I got to save this voice. I got to. I have to go record today. No. You're done. You, re you read it. If you're an artist on the rise and you'd like to be featured on Bee Radio, show us your town on Songstagram and keep listening every Thursday at noon right now. Be you sound like a very timid, unsure old woman <laughs> who's fed up and just over it. Mm -hmm. Like you don't even want to be there. Exactly. I'll, I'll pitch that to him. I'll see if maybe she can have a friend. Jay, you're the best. It was so great hanging you're out with you. You're the best. Right here chilling, right here on Bee Radio. Right here. And this is our show On The Rise. On The Rise. And you, my friend, are definitely on the rise. I'm trying. Killing trying it. not to fall. Just sweating up a storm right now. This guy is sweating up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about Megan Trainer. He's acted like an old lady. I've done it all. Vined a little bit. Done, yeah. Last question. Have you ever whined and vined? Wine and vine, like drank wine and vine. <laughs> you know, I have successfully never been inebriated in any of my vines. What? Not to say that Let's I won't it. ever do it. Let's try it. All right, where is it at? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm still drunk from last night, so technically, yeah, I guess. Whatever Jay you vine. Jay Cyrus, everybody, we love you. Thank you for Thank having you me. By. Where, uh, where can we follow you? And not you home, can, you can follow me wherever you want. I'm very lonely. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Twitter at J Cyrus Music, J C Y R U S M U S I C. Yes. Same for Instagram. Yes. Vine, of course, is just J dot C Y R U S. And um, my MySpace got deleted today, so. Okay. You can't follow me there anymore. All right, we'll follow you on your Yelp page. And Yelp, yeah. I have a really, I have to do some really dope transactions on Venmo. You guys can catch me on there. Go <laughs> like those for sure. All my accounts are just super awesome. Yes, so. and we can download your music on iTunes. You can download my music on iTunes. Please download my music please, on iTunes. Please. And that's just Jay Cyrus saying shit. Yeah, and bring up those credit cards. Yeah, yeah. iTunes, whatever. Google Play. Uh, it's on Spotify. It's on Pandora. Yeah. So. All right, we'll expect some uh, music soon. Yeah, definitely. Expect yeah. it. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for uh, joining the show on the rise on Bee Radio. And uh, you said that you saw the Bee Booths out in Nashville. I did, in Opry Mills Mall in Nashville. Nice. And uh, there, was some, there was some cats getting down hardcore in there. Yeah. They, Have were, you guys... they were probably making one of the next great rap videos. Yes. Coming out of, you know, I don't know where they recorded the audio, but they did great. So. Definitely, it's a Bee Booth. So go, go check it out. Follow us on uh, Twitter, Instagram. It's at Bee Booth TV. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Jay Cyrus, everybody from Vine. Woo! Yeah! Dance. <laughs>
have a dance party? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Go All for right. it. I'll watch. Let's do it. All right, so you guys can check out our full <laughs> interview on our app store Instagram. And if you're an art artist on the rise, we would love to feature you right here on B Radio. Show us your talent on Song Instagram. Upload um, a video, like Jay does. Yeah. Maybe a little vine. Let maybe me see a little it. Rap. Let's see it, and then you might be featured right here every Thursday at noon. Right. I might come in here and bring you coffee. Oh, cheers. Speaking of coffee. Cheers. Yeah, well, mine's mine? done. I downed mine. Here's my coffee. Mm. There you go. Oh, God. I'm jealous. Delicious. We'll get you a cup. <laughs> All right. Good deal. All right. Make sure you guys follow us. It's at Jennifer Tapier at B Booth TV. We'll see you guys next week, Thursday, right here on B Radio. See you Later. next time. Later. B Radio. Boom.